welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you guys my server. So this is my redstone server before you say, oh the buildings look pretty bad and stuff. Yeah, okay. I'm not good at building, alright? Yeah, and today I decided to, I was finally going to make the video of showcasing my server. So I've had two servers in the past, uh, no actually three servers if you include this one. Like the first one was all about, com my house was all about command blocks because as you know I'm into redstone and command blocks so my first house was all around command blocks and then the second one but actually the server I used was it was grief so basically it was bombed so hard like a hundred thousand TNT that that the game would crash every single time and I didn't make a backup so I just made this new world and then this, the same thing happened again so it was a bit of a pain. So this is the third. This is the third server there is. And if you guys want to see what the first server looks like, I'll put a link to a video. I'm showcasing a redstone train station. It was that was the first ever server. So let's get into this tour then. So I think it's best to start off with the main building here. This is the redstone mansions. Before and uh, yeah, I just basically when I when I when I was the only one on the server, um, I used a lot of redstone. Well, I, I think you can obviously see because I did a lot of testing here. So we, as I have to change this to night, as you can see, yeah, and I've turned on in-game sounds. So as you can see, the door will close, and to press it, I just oh, press the button, and then yeah, and then the bridge opens. Only at night times. At daytime, it will stay open. So what you do is you walk, you walk in. Let me get rid of this first, and then you have the reception area, and then here is where you like you drop, you drop the cash, you make payments and stuff. You know what I mean? And, and then yeah then in, over here is where everything is stored so as you see there's nothing inside right now but the second I, I hit this number then everything will go in and this is just for my friends back when they play on the server but now they don't really play a lot of minecraft anymore but I don't really mind that these are the early redstone exhibits this is barrier blocks as you can see so um so we have the T flip flop this is the original one as you can see like without having to use any piston to function and then we have like a filter and then over here we have a 2x2 two two piston door so you guys should know how this works so basically just like this so it's quite so this is just quite simple redstone for me and this is me just testing the glitch yeah the glitch still works so what the glitch is if you do this to a chest then you can access it through the piston see okay your, your ears probably hurt by now and then this is just another filter, except with it, it comes with a trap here instead. And now I guess let's move up. Well, actually, there's there's nothing much up here, but over here is just the floor where this is the toilet in there. And then here's just the entertainment floor, and inside here is just a small cafeteria. I'm not the best at building, okay? So before someone says it's ugly, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not here to trigger your OCD, all right? Then this, and then these floors are my friends' floors. Now. I, I on purposely put like security locks on these so it's filters with only with only the specific item inside. But for some reason it's everything is gone. Maybe because when this when when the server reset it, maybe that's why. And this is his place. Well, I, and so like that we're just gonna slowly go up. And this is also my, my my other friend's house. And then you come up here. You have many apartments. So this is where the 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 rented flat rented flats are so the reception inside to rent is in there and then you have and then you have rooms as you can see but some of them my friends like they have them customized so i don't see a problem with them customizing it so as you can see these are some rooms so they look decent i guess and plus i built them myself so you, you, as i said you can't expect the best this is my this is also my friend's place and i can break this because i'm the i own this place so i have the right to do what i want and yeah and then we go up here elevator up now if we go up here this is also my friend's house and this is another one this, then there's of course there's some empty floors because well this place is really tall and then we have here and then you also have my friend's house and up here once again more more than all the way to the top here and I and, and to this day I still don't remember who owns this part. So we come out of here. You have an entire view. Yeah, there's just a small barbecue area here. Then this here is a Squid Junior's house. 
So I built up her redstone elevator. It's a slime block elevator just to just to get up here. And yeah. Then oh then now we move over to this part. Like actually we'll go this part first. This I mean I'm proud of this building. So in case you guys don't know what building that is, this is the this is school building. So I built myself a school in here with the help of some friends, of course. And then the way you get in is you want to grab one of these school tickets. So you just want to get one of them and I walk over here. Now, if you now the thing is, if you press any, if you put anything in, it won't work. So if you put this in. As you can see, it will transfer it into a chest, and then the door will open and close. So this is the place, this is the cafeteria, where people serve food. <coughs> <coughs> why? Did, I don't know why I did this, okay? Then here is the command blocks classroom, and that's taught by Seth Bling, uh, originally. And this place is taught by Mumbo. Now this deserves, now this deserves a screenshot. Amazing. So now moving on, if we if we go up this area, testing rooms, and then you have classrooms. So this is testing room one for reds, for testing any dangerous redstone creations. And then on this side is for is for commands. And because commands can be dangerous in case you accidentally summon like five creepers, this is just a waiting room area. Then the, then the other classrooms are in here. They pretty much all look like that. And now if we go, if you saw up there, and then that was like the tent. That was like a small tennis court kind of thing just or football court I honestly don't know so now if we move over here then here is the, the assembly hall so like the I don't, I don't know exactly what to call it but I'll, I'll here's a walkthrough of the place so this is the hall setting and display so like the like the rooms in the back so you have spare lights so which turn on those as you can see then to project your light this one is the close. Press close the curtains. Yes, I was pretty much obsessed with command blocks, and I have night vision on, by the way, so that's why no, there's no effects. Then you press open curtains. And over here is just the fake audio display interface stuff. Yeah, you get. You guys should get the idea. Then here, you press this button. Then you see this is where the projector comes down. So I really, I really like this, honestly. And as you, and I'm gonna show you now the command blocks here so it wasn't very difficult I just wanted to make them put them in two ways so like a dual edge on a stable circuit in a way but then I was too, but then my redstone skills wasn't the best back then but now it's definitely much better so now that we're done with this part let's let's move on to the to other parts of this of this world now moving on over this way so this is the building where I where I did a where I did a, a tutorial and uh, there's nothing much to see there. These, these are just old shacks and stuff. There's me testing some redstone. And then right here is the main train station. I mean, I gotta say, I'm very proud of this. So you saw a sliding door right there. And now you see, this is my mansion. You need you need clearance to get there. <laughs> so what? What's you? So as you can see, when light is off, no cards are available and departures will be locked. So now, as you can see in the storage, there's free minecarts. So as you so you heard the piston, that means the it will hold back. So to load them in, you step on here, and then you step out. Please. So you just want to repeat this process. Really. And I got the, got this idea from a very old. And this is the drop down, and I'll explain that later. So base so basically, when I when I arrive back here. Um, well actually, I've made a, I've made a, a, tra a redstone train station video before, you should go check that out, I'll put a link in the description down below. The idea is, is pretty much the same. So now if you press this button, then you can, then you can select. So if we go to the, to, only these three lines are functional right now, so we go to the, let's go to this line, greater city line, or intercity line. So let's go to this one because these two lines are actually connected. Well, actually, all lines are connected in a way. But then, uh, yeah, let's just go to this one. So what you want to do is step on a pressure plate and don't get interfered. Then you'll hear the dispenser fire. Then you get on, and then you're on your way. Now, for some reason, it isn't working right now. 
and I need to reactivate the system. And as you can see, the track was swapped, and then we're, we will be taken over to the okay, location. It does that, and that's where I get the minecart. So this is goes to the greater city line. And over here, if I walk out, my friend was the one who, who designed this. He's really good at building. And I was the one who used commands to make all these custom heads. And he's, my friend is really good at building. Yeah, you see some red tag chests and stuff. So as you can see, if you go up, the, these are the floors. And he, he was uh, too lazy to put the remaining stairs in. So, so before I built my mansion, my house was actually up here. And he was the one who designed this. It's really nice. I really like it. And then there's a balcony and everything. But then, well, it's been a while since we've, done, we've built this. Yeah, I was actually up here. So now, if we hop back down, and now we'll and then we'll take you guys to the Greater City Line. So once again, just grab a minecart. And now, and supposedly there was, there was a button here, but unfortunately, it's it's gone for some reason. I'll just place it there. And then now we'll continue along our voyage. Now here is the... Well, we didn't bother... We, I just carved this place out. Now my friend also built this. This is a bridge. And this comes to the ski resort. And then you just drop one emerald inside to enter. And then up here is where you select food. So let's say you want some apples. You want this. You want a, also a piece of bread or something. Just press the button. And then everything will be in. So how this works is it brings it down so the signal can pass through and then it'll just dispense into the chest. So some, so it's just very basic, nothing overly complicated here. And there you go, you have your stuff. Then over here, this this minecart track, it brings you all the way up and up and up. So this is like, as you can see, this is a ski resort. So we were trying to mimic what a ski resort would look like. So you could use this line to go over here. Which I gotta say looks nicer than the one I built. Or you could use my one. I mean, either way, it's fine. Either way, it's fine. And and you won't believe this. This house was... I, I was the one who actually built this. Yeah, I actually built this. Now, this is actually something impressive. You know what? I'm gonna tag I'm gonna tag Green with this on Twitter. I'm gonna see what, what his opinion of it is. Wait. Screenshot. There we go. So, yeah. So, this is the area. So now I'm gonna fly back over to the to the stop and then I'll and then I'll bring you guys through. Yeah, and as you can see, the reason the re the reason why the track was so like manoeuvre and stuff like it was so many wiggles was because of here. As you can see, this is obviously not carved because the tracks were literally right below here, and I had to try my best to maneuver all the water. So so that made it a bit more difficult. So as you can see, it goes down like this. The water is right there, which made it so complicated just to travel. So as you can see. The track goes through here. Yeah, and this place is huge. And see, as you can see, this track just goes back to the inner city line. That way, it goes back to here. I know, this line goes back to, to this building, Speedy Apartments. We call it because his, his in-game name was Speedy Snail. So this way just goes. And over here is just something my friend built. Like a, a, rocket, lo a rocket payload kind of thing. And you see the train tracks to go all the way here, and then and then they'll eventually all come, always come up here no matter what. So if I was to press this, so if I was to go back in the in the game mode, it would stop me here. Then ask me where do I want to go? Do I want to go to Redstone Apartments? So basically, there, or do I not want to go King Cross? So that's what I called it. <laughs> yeah, I know I copied London. I'm amazing. So I just press this on. So what that is, it's an RS Nor Lash. So just press the button, track the switch, and it'll take us back to King Cross. So no access to people, only minecart, as you can see. So read push button in the minecart and push button, push minecart in the area, don't touch. Walk down the stairs and arrive on arrival plane. So push that in. So you see that it lands there. And then we step on this arrival plane. Then it'll, so that means it's reusable. So I mean I have a vid I have an entire video on this, so you could always go watch that. So now let's move on to, the, to the, probably the best part. This is also, this part is the redstone testing area where I test a lot of builds. This was where my old, my very old home, like the first ever home I built on the server. It was also redstone integration. Then I have some, my friend, he would do some nice art here. They built this tree, um, R2D2, Charmander, and a shark. And then you have a Star Wars thing there. I forget, I forget what they're called. Don't, don't bully me, please. 
and there's really nothing this way. And what happened? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And over there is just those gang gang hoods that my friend make. Yeah, my friends are weird. They t they like to um, talk about uh, like they like to joke around about drugs and stuff. I don't know why. Like this is the inner, this is central line. This is like the ma the main line. This doesn't really go anywhere right now. So the central line just goes from like can cross over there and to here and then onwards. And then inner city line is like within the city. So this side goes back to Speedy Apartments, and then this this side goes to my, to my place. So here's the thing. This is quite special. So if I, so as you can see, I have a paper. So what I want to do is you want to name this immigration clearance. Like that, exactly like that. There's no exceptions. I don't want to work. So press the button. So now, what you want to do is, if you, so let's say you put this minecart in, right? It won't do anything, obviously, because it's, it's a filter. But only if you put this in, that it will work. But let's just say, okay. So I'll show you an example right now. So if I press this button. Um, is everything okay? Now, so for some very odd reason, this thing isn't working. But then the I, but then let's okay. So let's say that this is that I I decided not to put it in because I was lazy, like hypothetically, okay. So if I press this, and it'll go into it will bring me to here because and it will destroy the minecart. Now usually, it if I was if it was if the password was correct, it would bring me this way and it'll go correctly. And then this side, there's a pressure plate. It will detect if I have this in my hand. If it doesn't, it won't do anything. The door over there won't open. But if I do have it, it will, op it will usually open the door. But then because this is 1.12, some of the command prefixes have changed. So as, so as you can see. So now it doesn't really work. But then the way it worked, then there's a double piston extender here. And then you and then the minecart would travel would travel back here, and then it'll bring it will con make me continue onward. So it was a pretty nice command block redstone advanced system back in the day when it was on 1.8.9. But unfortunately, the system is now broke thanks to 1.12. And now the final part, we are actually now inside dimension. So if I step out here, we're inside. So now I'll give you a, I'll give you a guided tour of the mansion. Be warned. This is gonna this is gonna be a long video, so I'm um, sorry about that guys. So now that we're at the entrance of my mansion, so let's see, so onto the oak wood. Key goes here. So and so basically redstone torches work, but I just called the key because why not? So we place this. As you can see, then the, the thing will extend. And then and then the deactivate it, you press the button in here, and oh, and then it will retract back in. Now you're probably wondering why it does that, but then you it's a, but then you can't. Nevertheless, you can't jump over that anyways. And then here, this button activates the lava, so it turns off the lava pool. It's just a lot of nice security measures that I implement into here. Here's lava again. <coughs> now this is gonna make you drop frames, so rip ears. So press this button, then over here, and it pops up over there too, and one right next to the fountain. So if I press this, as you can see, they all retract in at almost the same time, like within a few milliseconds of each other. Now this is the is where the horses are. So this is so these are my horses. There's the June. <laughs> There's a um. Just uh, don't, don't ask, okay? Don't ask their names. So just flick this lever, and then I can ride these horses out. Close, close it, and then I come over here. Press this button and the gate unlocked. And I really like this. This, this took so long to plan just this just this piston door mechanism alone. And then out here, this tree actually act can it, is it not this tree? But which tree is it? I honestly don't remember anymore. It's been so long. Yeah, my mistake, it's right here. As you can see. So now if we were to re so let's say we just came out and then we we arrive back, so we have so our torch, reactivate, we will walk back in, 
Just press the button. And then and then return and then just return. So he so then he goes in here. Usually he there will be a leash and I don't know where I am. What happened? Click this and I'll be back. And and then we're back inside. So now over here, the swimming pool area. This place is huge. I made this mini island. Some those floaties. Now this just turns on all the turns on all the lights in the pool. It takes some time for that to happen because I gave them an effect. So in here is a barbecue. Here are all tables and those and those. Uh, I don't know what you call them, but this is where the the fireworks happen. So if I flick this lever, and you can see you have a mini fireworks show. Just drop frames. So as you can see, now this is just where you can get cook, like ask for food and stuff. So now let's go into the main building. So where all the, where everything cool happens. And and keep in mind that some stuff I haven't upgraded in a while. So so this button here activates the gate. Iron barb gates, and then flicking it back will just trigger. Then close, and this button we press it last. Then over here, press this button. You have a pop-up crafting table. And the reason why I didn't do this to the to furnaces or chests is because they're not movable. So that's kind of sad. So here is the. Um, the fire cook basically the stove in a way then then we just press this button and it stops and then we, if we do this we have water turn off we have no water so that's like a dual edge one steel circuit press this one it gives you water but then really all it is is a command block there's nothing below it actually so this is just a, the table up here is just a bathroom then come up here and this is a fish tank <laughs> guardians press the button you feed them amazing Come in here is just, just a big, a big toilet up here, and my, and the room, like the, like the room is actually, I forget how to get up there. Oh yeah, it's here. I haven't been on in a while. So you just come up like this. So this is the, basically like the main room. So what you could, so what you do is, I'm pretty sure you press this. There we go. And then you just put it. In. But back in the day when I built this, I had no idea how to how to make a dual edge monostable circuit or like a falling edge monostable circuit. So I couldn't like figure out how to like turn this off. So back then I used this button just to just to have a piston and push it up. But now I I know that you don't need to do that because now I know how to make falling edge monostable circuit. So this is a hot tub. Amazing. And that's a shower. So actually th there's access to get back. And then actually there is something up here. But I just never used it now here was just a slime block elevator if i can find it but i don't remember if this place is still used so you press this like that and then you add a lever oh okay so press this first it will open i'll open the, it will open the dispensers and as you can see but for some reason the pistons aren't working which i have no idea why Yeah, you see what I'm getting at here? Then I'm pretty sure I just do this and it will hide all the dispenser. Yeah, Th yeah, that's more like it. Yeah, but then I just put it back accidentally because I thought it looked a bit unnatural, which I will admit that it does, but eh, it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm gonna cover this up, then just do slash through. So that's just the lever that basically doesn't close this door. So the enchanting room is in here, and then you can enchant, you can break all the torches if you want, close that, press this button here, and this gives up all the, all the chests where the torches are, just don't move the chests, press the button and it'll go back in. So, that, so that's for enchanting, this place is a, is a, bit, a bit enchanting I would say because you have anvils, so what you do is, you press this button and, sta and come over and stand here, then it'll come down. Press this button, then it will splash a lot of EXP on you, then it will let you absorb it all, and then it will dispense you back up. Then this, press this button, it will give you lapis, because as you know, after 1.9, you need lapis for enchanting. But then if you play the server in like 1.8.9, then you don't need to, then okay. It will just stay like that. And now, portal is totally here, so flick the lever. You have a, and then you have the portal. I'm not gonna go in the nether because it's gonna mess up everything. 
something and then the portal will spawn somewhere else and break something. So now walk over to this side and then you have a potion brewing station so as you can see the glowstone because why not. So you could just choose what potion you want. So let's say if I wanted something like speed, I said like sugar because that's the ingredient for it, then you press this button and it will brew. But unfortunately this was made before the 1.8.9 up like before 1.9, so as a so as a result of that, not so it won't work because now you need blaze. You need to add blaze powder. But I have an updated version of my redstone testing world. So that's basically how it works. Then you have like a auto furnace here. And then here was an auto water water filler. So you send water down, and then you, know, you send a bucket down. Then it will fill, then it will fill it up here and send it up. Then here is the auto filling cauldron. So which so if, so this is a design that I've made a while ago. I made a video on this. So if you empty a bucket, which it will switch out. So and it has eight levels. Here you could select food, and it will always come with an with, with, with apple. And you, I got the food I want. Here, the special chest. Where stuff come up. As you can see, yeah, this is some OP stuff right here. So if I was to flick this all the way back, stuff will go start going back in. And now for the big for the vault. So it does it looks very non-suspicious, but I just put it here so you so you know. As you can see this hides the area. But then it's not very hidden, but okay. So this will trigger just a little the nice light. Then here you have to activate the password. So stage one is an item frame lock. And this was all designed by me, by the way. Item frame lock. So I think it was like that. There we go. Then you have to insert the correct item inside. And the correct item is a nether star. And if it's correct, the light will turn on. Then what you want to do here is a color combination. Now, now, now this method of making it is very inefficient because you have to block. So you can count back the amount of blocks and then you know what color the password is. But the color is blue, blue, yellow. So green, blue, red, yellow. So, so that's the combination that we want right now. And the light will flicker every time due to the way that this is the work at the back. So now I press this, it will work out. So that's the correct, the light will stay on. And then the st final stage is the password. So the password is 2413, I believe. So as you can see, it's working at the back. I think it should work, yeah. Now, if I was to press this, so that means it's correct. And now, wait for it, and the 6x6 vault door opens. Then I can ride a minecart over this way. And then I press this button. Then the stairs pop up. Then here is a really big sorting system and, and filter and as you could see it's pretty crazy so this was my first ever lo really large scale build which I'm st I'm so proud of it to this day but although I can definitely compact it better so I've made a, a video tutorial on this so I'll also link that in, in the description down below Now that everything is reset, I'll show you guys what's behind it. Yeah, a lot of stuff here to, that I've done. And then that's the 6x6 vault door designed by Mumbo. So you can search it up on YouTube and then you should be able to find how to build that. Put that, and there we go. And that's pretty much this entire mansion. Yeah, I may have made it because this originally was going to be an airport building. But then I was like, wait, you know what? I can use this as my home. And now the final button. Press this, it opens a vault here, and then this exposes you all the redstone down here. So there's some note block stuff here, this there, 
then you have the hip then you have the two by two doors basically a lot of redstone down here there's no need to compact things since there's so much space here so I didn't really think of a point and one part that's very big is over, mm -hmm. over at the entrance because as you can see the drawbridge I originally wanted to make a different drawbridge that was much more complicated but instead I just made it simple and then you have the locks here and then you have like uh, like the like the switches and then you have like the the, 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 the pop-up lamppost and they're like one block in between each other so yeah it's pretty tight down here so I guess that's all for this video I know it's a rather long video so just bear, bear me if you want to see more long videos you probably wouldn't but thank you guys for watching this video of, of the tour of this server if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like leave a comment down below if you want and be sure to subscribe to your channel if you haven't already tell your friends to subscribe come on please so thank you guys for watching this is great math here and I'm out see ya